Hey, Architect Nation, Enoch here, and I'm coming to you live today from the beach. So today we're going to have a topic of discussion about the theory of constraints. Now, this is a concept that Eliehu Goldratt talked about in his book, The Goal. And to give you an example of this, I'm going to show you this cooler here that my brother-in-law brought here on the trip, right down here. And this cooler is pretty amazing. It keeps everything nice and cool. However, what happened yesterday is that the little zipper broke off. So there's this little tiny zipper on this side over here. And if you're listening to this, I know you can't see what I'm talking about. But basically the zipper part that you would use to actually open up this cooler. Now this cooler is like made out of a very tough fabric and it's insulated. And it's like almost impossible to open now because this little zipper broke. So this goes back to this idea of the theory of constraints that in any, in any business or management system, there's always a weak link that limits the output of that system. So in this case, the weak link of this particular cooler, because my brother-in-law said he's gonna return this thing to Costco, the weak link was the little zipper. And so what I'd have you consider, what I'd ask you today is where in your business do you have a weak link? Where in your architecture firm, what is the weak link? Is it the marketing of your services? Is that you don't have consistent clients coming in? Why do you not have a line of clients waiting to work with you? What is the weak link in your business? So that's what I'd have you consider today. Take out a piece of paper, take out a pen, take out your journal. Have a minute to think about what is the weak link? What is the constraint in your business? Because if you fix that constraint, then ultimately what will happen is you'll get better results for the overall system. All right, this is Enoch. And this is the end of this Architect CEO daily update live from the beach. Over and out.